I used to enjoy being in barber shops, getting my hair cut, you know, in traditional settings like that. I was always into like old stuff. I was like, you know what, when, when this is all said and done, I think I want to be a barber. At this point, it wasn't like necessarily the thing everyone was doing when I told people like a barber, really? Like, come on. good staff and like great barbers that are trained really well now whether that be here or elsewhere none of this could be possible without amazing clients and, and amazing staff like it really really comes down to them like I mean yeah I had a vision and I didn't even really have a vision my vision was to like just be a barber that loved what he did right we've all created this environment where people love to be here customers and employees alike and I think that that is, you know, why some days we'll show up and there's lineups of 20 guys waiting to get in for a walk-in. There's a reason they're called tools of the trade, you know, in any trade. When you start taking it seriously is when you realize that you need the best stuff. And they're the reason, you know, we can execute the things that we do to the degree that we do. Up until very recently, I finally think I've refined my quiver of tools to a level that I'm pretty pleased with every single thing, you know, like, I've swapped this brand out for this brand and like this model out for this model. And every time I think I've got it, like I try something new and I'm like, oh man, this really is, you know. A lot of people in the shop, not just myself, have really transitioned into using, you know, almost exclusively wall products. One of our other barbers who's like Mr. Traditional, like he's one step away from a monocle. But he's such a like advocate of the trade and of like progressing the trade that it's, you know he got a chance to try the cordless stuff and at first I like, scoffed at him like no I'm not going to even like this and then tried it. For instance like you know there's a couple times when I've gone to look for the chromato or the cordless chromato and, and you know it's in Brian's little doctor bag tucked away in his locker because he just wants to nobody else gets to use it and I mean that's a testament to how well it works if Mr. Old Time, he's using it, you know. I have two shops that are successful. I've provided a good working environment for, I think our staff's up to like 13 people now. It's not about like how, how far I've made it in life because of barbering. Like one, I get to do what I love every single day. I spent years trying to figure out how to be a barber because I wanted to do it so badly. The shop has evolved a lot, I mean, if you, anyone who had ever been to the other shop, it was four chairs in a basement. And at some point we grew out of that shop, which is great, and then we moved across the street. I found this location here. I like the fact that we're known for traditional barbering because I think that we can do it on a level or in a capacity in which it's pretty true to whichever decade, whichever time that you, you, know, you want. Like I really do love that people come here and can be like, I want a proper 1930s, you know, low taper, slick back, and we're like, yep, no problem. <laughs>